Welcome to 8.13's Math Moment. Today in math, fifth graders worked on finding the volume of composite solid figures. And a composite figure is just a figure that's made up of one or more shapes um, that are kind of stuck together to make a different figure that we might be used to working with. And we needed to find the volume of that shape. So here I'm looking at kind of an L, upside down, sideways L shape that I'm going to have to find the volume of. Now, the nice thing is I've got lots of different numbers that I already know, and so I just have to break this shape into two shapes, maybe three shapes, to help myself figure it out and then put them all together. Because it's not going to, I'm not going to be able to use a formula to find the volume of all of this as one piece. I'm going to have to break it apart and then put them together. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a line. Whoops, that's not very straight. I'm going to draw a line right here. And I want us to focus on this long shape and this shape here. So I've got a tall shape and a long shape. And we're going to focus on those as two shapes. I'm going to call this shape A, and I'm going to call this one shape B. And I'm going to focus just on one at a time to figure out the volume before putting them together. So I'm first going to start with shape A. And shape A, I know that volume is length times width times height. When I'm looking at shape A, I have the height, which is 6, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in. I have the width, which is 8, and then I don't quite have the length, because what I do have, which is the 24, I have the length of this whole long shape. But part of that shape is part B, so I don't want to include all of 24. I need to stop and think about what part of the 24 is just part A which is from this side to this side here. So when I'm looking at that, I know by looking at part B that this part is 6, which means this part is 6, which means this part is 6. So that helps me to know that I have 6 of these 24 that belong to shape B. So I don't want to include the whole 24. I actually want to include 6 less. So I'm going to take 24 minus 6 which would be 18 to help me find the length for shape A. So now I have all three numbers. I had to subtract a little bit and use some information from shape B to help me, but I ultimately found out what I needed to know. So now I am going to go ahead and solve my problem. 8 times 6 is 48. And then I have 18 times 48, which I'll have to pull off to the side. 8 times 8 is 64, carry the 6. 8 times 4 is 32, plus 6 is 38. Add my 0, I'm done with the 6. 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 4 is 4. And then I'm able just to add and carry, like I normally would, to find out that the volume of shape A is 864 centimeters cubed. Now, I'm not done with the problem, I've done a lot of work, but I'm not quite finished because now I need to find the volume for shape B. I know that volume is length times width times height, and then I need to look at shape B and decide what do I already know, what do I already have. Well, I have the length of the shape, which would be 6. I have that written in three different places now. I have the height of the shape, which is right here with 16. The only thing that I'm missing, and I don't have um, popping out at me right away, is the width. I need to know this amount. So when I'm looking at other parts of this shape that would be equivalent, I see that th these two lines would match, which means that also this line would match, which matches with this one here, the width of shape A, which was 8. So again, I used parts of the other shape to help me figure out the dimensions for shape B. 6 times 8 is 48, and now I need to take 48 times 16. 6 times 8 is 48 again. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 4 is 28. I'm done with my 6, so I get rid of the 4 and add a 0. 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 4 is 4. And then I can go ahead and add, just like I normally would, to get the final answer of 768 centimeters cubed for shape B. 
Now, I'm still not done because I need to figure out the whole shape of the composite, or excuse me, the whole volume of the entire composite shape. So in order to do that, I need to add together 864 and 768 to find my total volume. 8 plus 7 is 15, plus 1 is 16, and then I get a final volume of shape A and B, so this whole composite shape of 1,632 centimeters cubed. So a good strategy for your student is to have them work on two separate pieces of paper for the two separate shapes to write the volume inside the shape that they're working on to help them know, okay, I'm done with shape A, let's move on to shape B, and then put them together at the end. So again, encouraging that organization of work is gonna help them when they're working with composite figures. If you have any questions about this lesson, make sure to see your math teacher.